Do you want to do like a closing monologue type thing? No. Like an uplifting. Okay. Here's the deal. I'm really not trying to be difficult. I am not interested in being a, a troll. Well, occasionally I'm interested in being a troll. I'm a human being. Leave me alone. But I can't help to see that we still live in the realm of possibility. And I talk to a lot of people. I recently spoke to Michael Moore. I speak to my friends and my family from across the ideological spectrum. And there's this pervasive feeling of hopelessness, whether it's because you had really invested in the promise of a Bernie Sanders candidacy, or maybe you supported one of the other candidates are, and are disappointed in Joe Biden for other reasons. Maybe it's because you maybe weren't that plugged in, but now that you're seeing these protests in the streets, you are feeling engaged and you're feeling like the demands of the moment aren't really being spoken to in any meaningful way. And a lot of people in that space feel like there's nothing left for them, that they either have to reluctantly pull the, the lever for Joe Biden and just carry on with their life, put their heads down and try to survive the next four years. And my feeling is that there is still possibility for us in the context of this election cycle. But what's frustrating to me is when I hear people I love and respect who seem to have given up, who don't see their power to hold are not as of yet elected officials accountable. And where I see power, where I see leverage, where I see influence, I'm never not going to speak to it. And I hope that at least some of you will consider joining me in this and at least joining us in conversation as we try to tease out what leverage is left for the left.